God bless you, loved ones. Welcome to the Word with Chester. Today we'll begin study in the 36th chapter of the book of Genesis. Today we'll be doing a lot of reading. We have to stay in context of which we started. We started reading through the Bible verse by verse and chapter by chapter. Today we'll be reading mostly uh, uh, about the uh, genealogy of Esau, or all of his descendants, uh, which is important in Scripture, but it can get somewhat boring uh, just reading through what we call the begots. Uh, you uh, got to understand God has blessed Jacob, and he also blessed Esau. Esau had uh, uh, quite a family himself. He had uh, uh, had many sons and uh, 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 the daughters of, of Canaan and, and the places that we will read. So you have to understand his genealogy is important. And some of the names that we will be reading, especially the place, uh, well, uh, even the word Edom comes out of uh, uh, the the. The, the Esau clan, if you would, or uh, the genealogy of Esau, uh, we're going to also find and read about them more times as we study the New Testament scriptures. So they are important uh, in even the history of Israel, and uh, also important to the uh, uh, to your scriptural knowledge. So I encourage you to stay with us. As I said, we will be doing a lot of reading. Uh, we will still have to split it up into two sessions. But let me take the time today to let you know that uh, exactly what we're doing. I know we have newcomers. We're teaching uh, and reading through the Bible verse by verse and chapter by chapter. Uh, for those of you that don't know, we started with the Gospel of St. Matthew, started with the New Testament scripture, uh, read completely through the New Testament. And God blessed that study tremendously, and now we are in uh, in process of reading through the Old Testament, now in chapter 36 of, of the book of Genesis. Before we start our reading today, let me take time to let you know that uh, uh, we uh, what funds this ministry is the gifts that God has given me, and I do sing well and write music well. I say my writing is better, my music writing is better than my singing, but I put it together and and God is blessing this entity. I guarantee you, if you uh, uh, if you listen to this particular CD that we have, uh, it will be a blessing to you. My singing is pretty good. I want you to know that. Uh, so you will be blessed just by hearing. And also, if you purchase this CD, you will be a blessing to this ministry because much of the funds that come in go to uh, uh, to the kingdom of God and to lift up the name of Jesus. Uh, this is my album uh, to to uh, know where my music is. You can go to uh, uh, iTunes, Amazon.com, TuneCore, or anywhere on the web where they sell music digitally or, or sell music at all and punch in my name, Chester L. Figure Sr., and my work will come up. You can buy the songs individually or you can buy the complete album, and it is a great work, and I, I do appreciate uh, the, the reception that we have had through our music and also our book. Uh, so I encourage you to order that, and it will be a blessing to you. And I guarantee you, you'll find yourself smiling and, and find yourself just enjoying the Lord and getting caught up in worship. Well, we're going to start our study today. As I said, we'll be doing a lot of reading. And uh, if I stumble over a few words, uh, there's a lot of pronunciation of names. Anytime you're doing a genealogy, you have to take your time and, and pronounce the names. Uh, if you get the pronunciation off, uh, that is uh, uh, it, it's not a terrible thing. Uh, but I never want you to get the meaning of Scripture of what the Lord is trying to say to us. We don't want to get that part off. Uh, I encourage you to pray for me today and every day because I need your prayers uh, to, uh, to impart the Word of God and give it to you as God would have you receive it. I need your prayers in so many ways, uh, even for God to supply the uh, needs of this ministry. It does cost us money, and we are always trying to expand and reach greater uh, greater heights for the Lord. So I need your support. I need uh, anything you do for this ministry, whether that's just saying amen, uh, giving me a thumbs up, saying that you like what I do, or, or whatever. Uh, uh, and it would encourage this ministry, if, if, a, if there is a song on my uh, CD, or any of the songs that I sing that you really like, if you call your radio station and let them know that you want to hear that on your radio station, it will be a great blessing
blessing to this ministry. Uh, we are getting some radio airplay here in Texas, and uh, I, I know uh, in other places we have been when uh, uh, our music has been played. But I want to reach as many people as I can. It is a blessing to this ministry. Doesn't sound like much, but every time your radio station or any radio station plays my music, uh, uh, this ministry gets gets five cents. Uh, that's no money uh, uh, if you just listen to one station, but if we collectively uh, call uh, all of the stations that we listen to uh, and all of the stations that you that you uh, uh, hear this music on, play it two, three, four times a week, that would be a great blessing to this ministry. And you would be surprised what we could do for the kingdom of God just by you making one telephone call to your radio station and letting them know you want to hear the songs that's on this CD. Well, we're going to begin our reading today. We're going to start reading in verse 1, chapter 36. And as I said, I hope that I don't stumble across the words or, uh, or the names or mess them up. But at any rate, we're going to read through the Bible. And I want you to take your Bible, if you have it uh, available, and you can, read along with us as we study the Word of God. The Bible reads in verse 1, chapter 36, Now these are the generations of Esau, who is Edom. Keep that word in mind because we're going to be talking about it uh, in uh, future tense as we study the, uh, uh, the Old Testament scripture. Uh, who is Edom? Uh, the generations of Esau, who is Edom? Uh, well, uh, shall we continue reading? Esau took his wives of the daughters of Canaan, uh, uh, Ada, uh, the daughter of Elam, uh, uh, the Hittite, uh, and Oholab, uh, 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 Ma, uh, the daughter of, uh, of Anam, the daughter of Zibion, the Hittite, uh, and uh, Basimath, Ishmael's daughter, uh, daughter, sister of Nabajoth. Can you understand? He got his wives uh, from the daughters of Canaan uh, and also one of them from the daughters uh, of Ishmael, which was a, a near kinsman to them. Uh, what well, shall we read? And, and Ada bore uh, to Esau Eliphaz, and uh, uh, Basimath bore Rehuel, and Aholabama uh, bore Jeush, and uh, Jalem and Korah, these are the sons of Esau, who were born unto him in the land of Canaan. And Esau took his wives and, and his sons, his daughters, and all the persons of his house, and his cattle, and all his beasts, and all uh, his substance, which he had begotten in the land of Canaan, and went into the country from the face of his brother Jacob. Uh, well, let's get the picture. Let's talk about it momentarily. Uh, you got to understand, uh, 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 Esau was in the land around where his father was. Uh, and uh, 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 Jacob had went down to uh, uh, to uh, in the land where his uncle was. And, and uh, he got his two wives down where his uncle was and uh, uh, lived down there 20 years. Uh, he gained, gained much substance, gained many cattle, uh, many uh, lambs and uh, uh, all of the things that go with uh, with growing uh, the great substance that he had. All the men servants uh, and remember he, he left Padanaram and went back down to where uh, his father was. Uh, he took all of the things that he had. Uh, now you got to understand Esau had gained, uh, gained great wealth as well. Uh, he had a lot of men servants and he had cattle and he had all of the things that goes along with being wealthy. Uh, uh, now you got to understand uh, Esau was there where his father was uh, and when Jacob came he brought all of the substance that he had. So he is a very wealthy man, two very wealthy men, uh, all living in the same land. <clears throat> And it was just too much for, uh, uh, for for all of their wealth to be in that land. Uh, anytime you got uh, uh, double the herds of cattle, uh, there's only so much grass for them to eat. Uh, there's, uh, there's only so much, uh, 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 hay, hay, whatever you want to raise or feed them, there's only so much of it that you can raise and feed them. Uh, 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 so you got to understand when both herds were so great, somebody had to leave and go to another land. Uh, now we know that the inheritance got 
God, uh, uh, because of subtlety, we read way back, uh, the blessing was, was given unto uh, uh, Jacob, and also the birthright was given uh, to Jacob, but Jacob sub subtly got them, uh, but nevertheless, they were his. Uh, so Esau, uh, he took his, uh, 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 everyone that was with him, <coughs> please excuse me, took his cattle, took all of his men servants, his wives, and all of his children, and he left there from the presence of his brothers. Uh, he went to inhabit another place. Uh, well, uh, uh, shall, uh, shall we reread seven and continue? Uh, and their riches were more than, the la than, uh, uh, than they might dwell together. Uh, let me read it. For their riches were more than that that they dwell together, and the land wherein they were strangers uh, strangers uh, had not uh, could not bear them uh, because of their cattle. Uh, in other words, they were were sojourners anyway. Uh, and they, it, at the land actually. Uh, it was promised to them, but at the time it was not theirs. Uh, so, so all of the people in that land, plus their two riches, it was just too much for them to bear. Verse eight: uh, Thus Esau, thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir. Uh, Esau is Edom. Uh, make that plain to yourself. Esau is Edom, uh, and and these uh, are the generations of Esau, the father of the Edomites uh, in Mount Seir. Verse 10, uh, these are the names of Esau's sons, uh, Eliphaz, uh, the son of Ada, the wife of Esau, uh, Re, uh, Reuel, uh, and the son of Basemath, uh, and uh, uh, the wife of Esau. Now, and the sons of Eliphaz were uh, Teman, Omar, uh, Zepho, and uh, Gateman, and Kenaz. Uh, and uh, Tim, uh, Timna, uh, who uh, was concubine of Eliphaz, uh, Esau's son, and she bore to Eliphaz, uh, 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 Amalek, these are the sons of Ada, Esau's wives. Now, uh, Esau's wife. Uh, now, get all of this, get this picture. Now, these names are going to come up again. Uh, the Amalekites and all of these things. Uh, now, get in your mind where they're coming from. When we read about the Amalekites, you got to understand these were uh, were in Esau, is Esau's family. Uh, all of these folks can stem out of him. Uh, we're going to read about them again. Uh, uh, the uh, 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 Amalek. These were the sons of Ada, Esau's wife. Now let's continue reading. And these are the sons of uh, Reuel, uh, Nahath, and, and Zerah, uh, uh, Shammah, and uh, Mizah. Uh, uh, these are the sons of Basemath, Esau's wife. And these were the sons of Oholabamah, uh, the daughters of Ana, the son of, of Zibion, Esau's wife, and she bore uh, to Esau Jehu, uh, Jehush, uh, Jehush, and Jalem, and Korah. Now these are the chiefs of the sons of Esau, uh, the sons of Eliphaz, the firstborn of Esau, chief uh, Teman, uh, 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 chief Omar, and chief Zepho, uh, chief Kenaz. Uh, now these are chiefs. You got to understand. Anytime you're the chief of something, uh, that means you got folks under you. Uh, I'm trying to get you to see a picture of how Esau, how he spread, and I, and how strong his name was, uh, and how strong that God had blessed him. Uh, how much God had blessed him with his family, uh, with many descendants himself. Uh, well, let's read in verse 16. Uh, chief Korah and Chief Gateman uh, and Chief. Uh, uh, Amalek, these are the chiefs uh, and uh, that came to Eliphaz uh, in the hand of Edom. Uh, these were the sons of Ada. Let's continue reading. Uh, and these were the sons of, of, of uh, Reuel, uh, Esau's sons, chief uh, uh, Nahath, uh, chief Zerah, chief Shema, uh, uh, chief Mizah, these are the chiefs that came of, of Reuel in the land of Edom. These are the sons of Basemeth, Esau's wife. Well, shall we continue reading? These are the sons of 
uh, a holy bama, a holy bama. Now that's a that's a mouthful right there. Yeah, Esau's wife, Chief Jewish, Jewish. Uh, uh, and Chief Jalam and Chief Korah, these are the chiefs that came of uh, Aholabama, uh, the daughters of Anna, Esau's wife. Uh, these are the sons of Esau, who is Edom, uh, and these are their chiefs. Can you get the picture? These are the sons of Esau, and these are their chiefs. Uh, let's read on in verse 20. These are the sons of Seir, uh, the, the Horite, uh, uh, who inhabited the land Lotan, uh, and Shobal, uh, and Zibion, uh, and Ana. These are they now. Uh, let's read one more verse. Uh, and Dishon, and Ez Ezar, and Di uh, Dishon, uh, these are the chiefs of the Horites, uh, and the children of Seir, uh, in the land of Edom. Uh, well, we're going to read further in our next lesson, but get all of these uh, all of these names I know that you won't be able to grasp them and remember every one of them but get who they are and where they fit in things these are the sons of Esau they will become a more important part of history you're going to read about them you will even read about some conflicts with the children of Israel with these but yet you got to understand these were brothers children uh, 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 Jacob he had a, a large clan. And we will read his genealogy as well really soon. And Esau had a large clan. These clans went separate directions. Yes, they will have conflicts in the future, but you got to understand these are brothers. And in them being brothers and them separated, you got to understand that there's still a blood tie there. And I want you to know these things, and I will talk about it further in our future lessons. We'll be reading more of the genealogy on tomorrow or in our next lesson. But I want you to get the fact that these are brothers uh, and how strong that uh, uh, Esau's clan was or uh, Esau's family was. Uh, he was strong too. God blessed him as he said he would. You got to understand God spoke a blessing uh, on, on Jacob uh, and uh, uh, when Esau went in and, and talked to his daddy, he, he pleaded with his daddy to bless me also. Uh, and his father did say a blessing on him. Uh, he told him that the, that the shackle of uh, 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 of the servanthood that you're serving under your brother. Uh, that's going to be broken. It'll be broken from beyond your neck. Uh, and he spoke blessings upon Esau as well. Uh, so you have to understand God blessed Esau. And yes, it was God who blessed Esau. And you can't say it wasn't uh, because the same mouth that spoke out the blessings to Abraham uh, spoke, out the, uh, uh, spoke out the blessings to Jacob uh, spoke out the blessings uh, uh, to Esau. Uh, so God blessed them up in both. Uh, but the promise uh, of the uh, of the Messiah, the promise of the anointed one, uh, God spoke that out through his daddy uh, that that would be upon Jacob. Uh, we can't take that away from Jacob. Uh, number one through him, uh, uh, all of the nations of the world would be blessed. Uh, that was the Bible. Uh, through him, many kings and, and, and many nations would come out of him. Uh, and God spoke uh, many of the same things toward Esau uh, through his daddy, but yet uh, the promise of the Messiah, the greater promise, uh, the birthright, if you please, and also the blessing uh, uh, which Jacob stole uh, was bestowed upon him. Uh, we're going to talk about these things further, but always know that God has a blessing, uh, and he has one with your name on it. Uh, somebody might not like it, and they might say you ain't nothing, they might say you're not about nothing, uh, but if God has a blessing for you, you will get it. Uh, he's got a blessing for you uh, with your name on it uh, and can't nobody take it away from you. Uh, I want you to know that I love you, my friends. Uh, I love you with the love of the Lord. Uh, if you would like to contact me for any reason, uh, you can reach me at the Work with Chester Ministries, uh, Post Office Box 200483, uh, San Antonio, Texas, uh, 78220. Uh, you can also reach me at my website, uh, www.poemsbychester.com. That's P O E M S. 
by Chester.com. Remember, I love you, my friends. I love you with the love of the Lord. God bless you.